Hi guys, Beaver here and welcome back to yet another episode of Police and Patrol Officer. I do hope you're doing well and happy Friday. Another weekend has arrived and it's time to relax and let our hair down. And yeah, with that all being said, I think you all know what it means. It is time for First Person Friday and we have a guest with us today. And no, it's not Officer Paraglock, but it is the one and the only Christian. Hey Christian, how are you doing buddy? Uh, I'm fine. Just another Friday. Yeah, tell me about it. Uh, yeah, Christian is the uh, owner of the channel on YouTube, which is actually, funny enough, just called Christian now. Used to be called Sim today, but he changed his name. I have no idea why. Don't ask me. You could ask him down in the comments if you're so interested to know, because I don't even know. So there we are. We'd all find out something. Anywho, with that all being said... So I'm going to be going around and driving and responding to calls as I usually do and be having a chat with Christian whilst we're at it because it does get quite lonely sometimes out on patrol on your own. So yeah, I thought I'd uh, have a friend with me today. So as you know, we'll probably be out and about for roughly 35-40 minutes. We'll see what we can get into answer any calls that come our way apart from traffic stops because I don't like them. So, the next question is, where do we start today's shift? And I am thinking Alcombe looks like a good area, high crime area. And I'm thinking we'll, we'll take a night shift because I haven't done one of them in a hot minute. I've been sticking to day shifts mostly. And, yeah, as you can see, Officer Take No Nonsense is here. She's ready to go, ready to keep the good upstanding citizens of Brighton safe from the criminal delinquents that are out and about. And it is dark out. So, let's go ahead and get out on patrol. And 119, you can show me 1041-108. Put the lights on, there we are. Oh, let that car go, because he doesn't seem like he wants to give away to us, so we'll just be a nice officer and let him go. And he just run through a red light, so that's going to be our first traffic stop. So yeah, Christian, what have you been doing recently, buddy? Uh, most of the time, just on um, um, bus. Usually oh. buses. Oh, okay. Yeah, for the rest, almost good days. Quite busy. Yeah. Uh, negative dispatch. I'm currently ten six. I'm afraid I can't make it in time. Come on, pull over. What are you doing? There we are. Oh, and he's going to block a bus stop. What a genius. We have a genius driver here, people. 119, I'm going to be on a 1011. It's going to be with a taxi cab. License plate is 6. X-ray, India, X-ray, 6, 1. Occupy one time, and I don't need an additional 32s. So, yeah, this is actually Christian's first time watching me play this. <laughs> so... Good evening, ma'am. Sergeant Beaver, Brian, Police Department. Reason for the detainment is that you ran a red light back there. What's that all about? I stopped you because you blew through a red light. There are literally a million other people committing real crimes. I mean, this is a real crime, right, Christian? Exactly. That's what I thought, ma'am. Oh, look. The license plate magically can tell you what crime this vehicle committed, if any. And oh, look, it says it ignored the red light. Well, 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 ma'am, I could smell alcohol on your breath. So would you mind stepping out of the vehicle and moving to the sidewalk for me? Please exit the vehicle and step to the sidewalk. Yeah, I can tell this is going to be a wonderful shift. A lot of people. Wrong stop. <laughs> yeah. Everyone in this city cannot seem to stay out of trouble for long enough. So, ma'am, have you consumed any alcohol, taken any drugs I should be made aware of? So, yeah, Christian, while uh, she's having that uh, test taken, what kind of uh, games are you into apart from, like, bus sims and whatnot? Oh, my life, 0 0.163. She is drunk as a skunk, twice over the legal limit. Yeah, apart from buses, trains, playing... trucks. So... Uh. <laughs> So pretty much anything that moves. Yeah. So yeah, if you haven't subscribed to his channel, guys, please do. He's an absolutely lovely chap. He's uh, 17, he's a student, and yeah, he puts a lot of time and effort into his content. And yeah, if you love anything that moves on wheels or rails or flies in the future, yeah, Christian's your man. So please do go and give him a cheeky little like and a subscription. I would, I would appreciate that, and so would Christian. Ma'am, here's the thing. 
You're over the limit, man. You're DUI, so I'm going to have to place you under arrest, driving under the influence of alcohol, okay? Please turn around and place your hands behind your back for me. I have to arrest you for driving under the influence of alcohol. Yeah, I think about flying around the end of the I'll get a flight stick. Please don't do that. Oh, okay, that'll be cool. Ma'am, have you got anything on that's going to poke me, hurt me, sit me or otherwise? Yeah, I will eventually. I'll want to get my flying up together and maybe we can do some shared cockpit and whatnot. I think that'd be fun. Okay, well, she's all clean. She had nothing else on her. So, 119, could I get a PT down on my current 20 for a 1015? Backup requested to take a suspect into custody. I repeat, backup requested. Copy that. The nearest available unit will be sent to your current location. 10-4, copy that. Thank you, dispatch. So, do you have any other hobbies, Christian? I mean, we know that you, um... Obviously have your own YouTube channel and whatnot, and I've featured on there a couple of times. But apart from that, do you do anything? I mean, do you like have any other hobbies, like collecting anything or stuff like that? Yeah, I collect bosses. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's really cool. Christy was so kind, he actually bought me a Scania City Wild model bus and hasn't even turned up yet. <laughs> yeah, he just sent me a gift. He's like, it'll be on its way. I was like, what? I don't even know, he had to spell it out to me, he's like, I bought you the Scania Citywide model, I was like, you're so kind, you didn't have to do that. Yeah, but here's a, here's a top guy, really nice guy, and I can't wait for the day when we actually meet for first person. Instead of having to uh, talk over a headset, because <laughs> it'll be a good day. Okay, well, this vehicle's all clear. 119, can I get a tow truck down to my current 20 for an impounded vehicle? I'll soon be at your location. I just brought I've got a vehicle here for towing. Can you send a tow truck to my current location? Alright, partner. I'll go ahead and take the suspect in custody. Send for a copy, I thank you, dispatch. And get into the police van. Okay. Hey, ma'am. How's it going? Sergeant Beaver, Brighton Police Department. Reason for the detainment is that you're drinking in public. What's that all about? You're being detained for drinking in public. No way, officer. I'd never do that. I mean, can you see the cheek on this woman? Like, she has the bottle in her hand and she has the cheek just like, No way! I'd never do that. Welcome to Brighton. Okay, ma'am. Have you got any ID on you at all? I'd like to see your ID, please. Here, officer. Thank you, ma'am. Nicole Takushi. That is valid. That is not her, though. That's stolen. Ma'am, you could be getting a citation for drinking in public, okay? I have to ticket you for public drinking. That will be up to $300. I don't have that much money. Okay, ma'am, at this time, you're going to be placed under arrest for possession of a stolen ID, okay? Please turn around and place your hands behind your back for me. I have to arrest you for carrying a stolen ID. So do you play any other games, Christian? Like, you said that you play the bus sim and whatnot, and you want to get into the flight sim, but is there anything else that you're, like, interested in? What? Um, but well, I play... I'm just a game, so... Or the bus, uh, or truck, so that's yes, yes. Uh, range Formula One. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, negative dispatch on 10 6. I'm currently busy with another issue. Ma'am, do you have anything that's going to poke me, hurt me, stick me, or otherwise? Uh, just a switchblade. 119 PT down to my current 20 for a 1015. Backup requested to take a suspect into custody. I repeat, backup requested. They're always on this flying off the road when I think <laughs> Yeah, I know. We've oh, done a few. Please. Oh, whoa, 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 119. I'm going to be in a 1070. Ma'am, stop running. You're going to get tased. Stop. Put your hands in the air. One. Yeah. <laughs> Failure to comply. 119 suspect is tased. Ma'am, please don't resist. Okay, ma'am, do you have any ID on you at all? Would you please show me your ID? It's kind of irritating at the moment you have to ask him for an ID before you Can put them in go, cuffs. Officer? But that will be changed in a future update, I'm glad to say. Uh, negative dispatch, I'm till 10 6. I'm taking care of another issue at the moment. Okay, Ileana Lynn, that is expired. Sometimes you have to do that twice for it to respond. There we are. Yeah, expired ID. Okay, ma'am. Have you got anything that's going to poke me or hurt me, slip me or otherwise? 
So yeah, Kristen, have you ever thought about like getting this game, or is it not you? This is really my stuff, but uh, oh. I think that is. Ah, fair enough. Okay, ma'am. At this time, you're going to be placed under arrest for possession of stolen property. Okay, please turn around and place your hands behind your back for me. You're being arrested for larceny. Please cooperate. Please, no. One nineteen. Can I get a PT to down my current twenty for ten fifteen? Backup requested to take a suspect into custody. I repeat, backup requested. Copy that. The nearest available unit will be sent to your current location. 10 4, copy that, thank you, dispatch. Oh, give it a rest, sir. Here you are, here's your stolen wallet. Please take your wallet. Like, they literally scream the house down job, like it's officer. the world is ending that because like someone's the stolen movie. their wallet. Sir, here's your theft report. Here's the report regarding your stolen property. Okay, thank you, officer. You're welcome, sir. You wallet back. Yeah, he did get his wallet back, yeah. You're, uh, you're free to leave, sir. You have a great day now. Take care. Everything's fine. You're good to go. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Just like how she says they're very nonchalantly. Bye. <laughs> okay. 119, I am going to be rolling up on the scene of an accident. Uh, negative dispatch, I'm 10-6. I'm currently busy with another issue. So yeah, Christian, for the people that probably don't know this, do you want to go ahead and tell them how we met? Because I think it's quite a good story, actually. Yeah, how we met. Sort of like a day to No, we did not. Oh. Uh, actually. Yeah. I need to see your ID and proof of insurance, I was doing for some. Sure, officer. Latest from us. Fine. Yeah. Then I, I looked further in the threats and I saw someone. A virtual bus company plan. Yeah. I think that was back in April 20. On. Yeah, that seems about right. Yeah. And then uh, I was like, ah, oh, I'll join in. And since folks see almost every day. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> I'm currently busy with another issue. Oh, almost one year. Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, hey ma'am, Sergeant Beaver Brown Police Department, you mind telling me what happened here? I respected the speed limit, I'm very sure. Okay ma'am, it's not a problem. Do you have any idea any at all ma'am? License, registration, proof insurance, all that good stuff. License and registration please. Sure, here you go officer. Thank you ma'am. Alright, let's see what we have here. Uh, Asako Deleton. That is expired and has expired. And she has an open warrant. And the car doesn't even have a valid registration. Wow. Wow, seriously. Like, if the car was reported stolen and she didn't have a driver's license, this would literally be a lot of things going wrong. This is one of the most uh, I've seen, to be honest. There's, what, one, two, three, four things here that are not right. Okay, start from the top, shall we? Ma'am. Negative dispatch from 10-6. I'm taking care of another issue with yeah, the moment. Sorry about that, ma'am. Where were we? So yes, you're going to be getting one citation for an expired ID. I will now fine you between 75 and and $100 for carrying an expired ID. This is going to get expensive. So much money for such a little infraction. Uh, that's the least of your problems. Then you're going to get another citation for no valid insurance. I'm charging you for not having valid insurance. Why does it cost so much? And you're going to get another citation for not having any valid license plate. I will now fine you between 50 and $250 for having an expired license plate. You're ruining my day. And then after we're done here, you will be placed under arrest for having an active warrant on your name. Ma'am, have you consumed any alcohol or taken any drugs I should be made aware of? I mean, it could get even worse for her. She could be DUI. No, she has no alcohol in her system. Just drugs. Yeah, this would be quite... Nope, no drugs there, but yeah, she has a, enough on her plate right now, so... Ma'am, I'll be back with you, okay? Just bear with me one moment. Right, just gonna speak to this female here. Good evening, ma'am. Sergeant Beaver, Brian Police Department. You mind telling me what happened here? I'm still in shock. I need to get my head right. It's okay, it's not a problem. 
Ma'am, do you have any ID on you at all? License, registration, proof of insurance, all that good stuff? ID, and if available, proof of insurance, please. Here you go, officer. Thank you, ma'am. Janet Abbe, that's valid, that's valid, and that is her. That's all good. Okay, ma'am, if you consumed any alcohol, or taken any drugs that I should be made aware of. Ah, uh, that's all good. And that is all good as well. Ma'am, I'll be right back with you, okay? Just bear with me one moment. I talked to this guy, right? No? Oh, I did. Cause it... Oh. I'm just gonna ask, do a DUI test again, because I can't remember what it said. He may have been DUI. I don't remember. <laughs> I mean, you won't get dinged for doing it twice, so it makes no difference. No harm, no foul. Uh, just go and check in here just to see if there's anything on him. No, he is all good. Okay, so we're going to have one that's going to be placed under arrest when we're done here. Just for that open warrant. Oh, wow, a lot of photos there. Oh, I see that, but I'm never going to get there in time. Otherwise, I'll lose this accident. It's annoying. I should really respond to that, but if I do, then this accident will just disappear. And she's just going to keep screaming, Thief! Help me! Like, I... I see? <laughs> never ceases to amaze me. Right, that's that all done. Let's go and find additional witnesses. Okay, looks like we may have one over here. Hi, hey, Hi man. There. How's it going? Help, please! A thief just stole my wallet! Oh, Ma'am, I can't help you right now, okay? You can take this theft report and go and take it up with the station, okay? Actually, your stolen belongings cannot be returned to you today. Please take your report. I don't want a report. I didn't I'm expect much from you. Okay, she says that one instead. Okay, ma'am, you're free to leave now. You have a great day. You can leave now. Have a great day. Right, where were we? Yes. We require an officer to handle a traffic stop. Can you take care of it? Negative dispatch from 10 6. I'm currently dealing with something else. Hey, ma'am, Sergeant Beaver, Brighton Police Department. Do you mind telling me what happened here? That person was driving very fast. It's dangerous, officer. Okay, ma'am, have you got any idea on you at all? Would you show me your ID, please? Yeah, sure, officer. Thank you, ma'am. What do we have here? Dolores Sorensen. That's all good. Ma'am, you're free to leave. You have a great day now. Take care. Everything's fine. You're good to go. Bye. Okay. Right, let's find all these witnesses and then we can get out on the road again. Hey, ma'am. Sergeant Beaver, Brighton Police Department. You mind telling me what happened here? That driver was exceeding the speed limit. You have to arrest them. Okay, ma'am, that's not a problem. Do you have any ID on you at all? I'd like to see your ID, please. Here, officer. Negative dispatch from 10-6. I'm currently busy with another issue. Uh, Karina Feng. And that female is having a seizure. And that's expired, and that... Is that her? Um, I think it is. Yeah, that is yeah. her, but that's the expired ID. Ma'am gonna be getting a verbal warning for that expired ID, okay? Please go and get it renewed. I'll just leave you with a verbal warning this time. Thank you, officer. You're welcome, ma'am. You have a great day now. Take care. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Okay. Does this female see anything? Nope. And I'm thinking we have one more witness over here. Good morning, ma'am. Sergeant Beaver, Brighton Police Department. You mind telling me what happened here? This person was way too fast. Nearly said good evening, then. It's past midnight now. <laughs> okay, ma'am, have you got any idea on you at all? I need to see your ID, please. Negative sure, dispatch from 10 6. I'm taking care of another issue at the moment. Okay, what have we got here? Bruna Adams. That is her. And that is her. Okay, ma'am. You're free to leave. You have a great day now. Take care. You can leave now. Have a great day. Right, that is that all taken care of. 
Sir, here is your accident report. Here's your accident report. That will be very helpful. Thank you, officer. You're welcome, sir. You are free to leave now. You have a great day. Take care. All right, you can go now. Drive safe. Ma'am, here is your accident report. Here's your accident report. That will be very helpful. Thank you, officer. You're welcome, ma'am. You're free to leave now. You have a great day. Take care. All clear. You're free to go. Stay safe and have a great day. There we are. Ma'am, here is your accident report. Please take your accident report. Such a comprehensive report will be very useful. Thank you, officer. Okay, ma'am. At this time, you're going to be placed under arrest for having an active warrant out in your name, okay? Please turn around and place your hands behind your back for me. The reason why you're under arrest is because you have an open warrant on you. Please cooperate and step to the sidewalk. Please, officer! Yeah, they always complain. Ma'am, yeah. have you got anything on this going to poke me, hurt me, step me otherwise? I just realised that grey uh, 4x4 over there is parked way too close to the crosswalk. Uh, Switchblade. That's not bueno. You shouldn't be having that on your person now. 119. Can I get a PC? I'm a current 20 for 1015. I need some backup here to take a suspect into custody. Understood. We're sending the closest transport to your location. 10 4, copy that. Thank you, dispatch. One's gonna get a dick. And a toe. Because that is impeding the crosswalk. 119, can I get a tow truck down to my car in 20 from the legally parked vehicle? I've got a car here that needs towing. Hello. Can you send Hello, a record to my current location? Negative dispatch on 10 6. I'm currently busy with another Don't issue. Ten four, copy that. Thank you, dispatch. Right, so I'm not gonna bother searching this vehicle. I'll let the uh, the rookies down at the uh, impound yard do that. 119, can I get a tow truck down to my car in 20 for an impounded vehicle? I have a car here that needs towing. Please send a tow truck to my current location. 119, can I get a tow truck down to my current 20 for an immobilized vehicle? I have a car here that needs towing. Please send a tow truck to my current location. I have a car here that needs towing. Please send a tow truck to my current location. The record has already been dispatched to your location. 10-4, copy that. Thank you, dispatch. Now we can get out on the belt on the roads again. 119, you can show me code 4 and 10 out of that accident call. So yeah, Christian, do you have any plans for the upcoming weekend? Uh, probably some more recording. Yeah. It's only time we really have free though, isn't it? It's like we have to make use of the time we have. I'll make the best of it. Yeah, it's all you can do, isn't it, really? You just gotta get on with things and make do with what you have. Yeah. Oh, can't go down that street, that's a one way. And GG Beaver, now I can't even see the light. There we are, I'll have to do that. Yeah, if you haven't already, guys, please do go and subscribe to Christian. I, I would appreciate it very much. Right to you, Paul. Yeah, of course. Oh, we have a vehicle here blocking a fire hydrant, so that's going to be a tow. One nineteen, can I get a tow truck down to my current twenty for an illegally parked vehicle? I have a vehicle that needs towing. Can you send a tow truck to my current location, please? A record will be there in a couple of minutes. Ten four, copy that. Thank you, dispatch. And this one's an expired parking meter, and it's facing the wrong direction. Watch, now we're not going to get hardly any calls. They've been bombarding us for calls when we were busy, but now because we're not busy, we're not going to get anything. Oh, I thought that car was going to run. Oh, it did. <laughs> Hitboxes are broken in that one.
119, I'm going to be back code 410. Just do some uh, ticketing and whatnot, guys, while we wait for another call. Because this vehicle here is parked on the sidewalk. That's for the tyres as well. Yeah. It's not very good for the tyres at all. Got that one right. And we have another one here that's parked on the sidewalk. Okay, we have an SUV down there that has a busted tail light, so we are going to go and pull them over and make contact with them. And that's going to be our next traffic stop for the day. Oh! And that's no good. Okay, well, we're not going to be speaking to them now because they just decided to brake check us. Oh, I see that. I see that. 119. I'm going to be in a 1070. Ma'am, stop running. You're going to get tased. BPD. That's not a ma'am. That's a sir. What am I on about? Sir, stop running. You're going to get tased. Find you. Sir, BPD. Police, stop. 119. Suspect failure to comply. Sir, stop running. Don't resist or you get tased again. Okay, sir. Have you got any ID on you at all? Please show me your ID. Sure, officer. Here you go. Thank you, sir. R and Deeb. Common spelling, of course. Okay, sir. If you've got anything on that's going to poke me, hurt me, stick me otherwise. Oh, my life. Did you just see that? <laughs> on the far left of the screen, someone jaywalked across the street and got flattened by a van. Oh, my life. Yeah. Uh... Sir, you're going to be placed under arrest for possession of stolen property. Please turn around and place your hands behind your back for me. I have to arrest you for larceny. Please step to the sidewalk. Please, don't do that. Okay, 119, could I get a PT down on my current 20 for a 1015? I need backup to take a subject into custody. Understood. The closest available unit will be dispatched to your location. 10 4, copy that. Thank you, dispatch. Right, we'll, we'll go and give the... Uh, female their wallet back and then we will get to that accident scene like actually i'm probably gonna have to take that now ah oh. see i'm hoping i don't go too far away from that and it'll get dinged off for me because i don't want to lose it don't know how far hey, i can go uh can you yeah i'm kind of busy at the moment no, my wallet! yeah it's taken off for me that's annoying ma'am here's your stolen wallet back here's your wallet you saved my day officer at least a lady has her wallet yeah, that's all good news. Ma'am, here's your theft report. Here's your report. Thank you, officer. You're welcome, ma'am. You have a great day now. Take care. You can leave now. Have a great day. Okay, let's see if we can go back over there. See if the accident's still there. Okay, so now it looks like it is, actually. Hey, officer. Can you help me out, please? Hey, sir. Where are you looking for? Excuse me, officer. Can you please point me to Andre's Bakery? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I know that place. Let me mark the location. It is right there, sir. Thanks a lot, officer. You're welcome, sir. You have a great day. Right. Oh, this accident didn't actually despawn. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Really confusing. Right. 119, can I get an ambulance down on my current 20? I have an injured person. I've got an injured person. I need an ambulance. Good morning, sir. Sergeant Beaver, Brighton Police Department. You mind telling me what happened here? I was driving quietly in my lane. Yeah, I know. I saw that. That guy just ran right out in front of you. There's nothing you could do about it, sir. Anywho, have you got any ID on you at all, sir? License, registration, proof of insurance, all that good stuff? Show me your license and car insurance, please. Okay, officer. There you go. Thank you, sir. Much appreciated. Shillin Rivas, that's Let me valid. See. Can and you hear me? That's valid. I'm still in shock, but I'm all right. Okay. okay. More shock than hurt. Can you make it to the ambulance on your own? We need to take a closer look. Sir, if you consumed any alcohol, taken any drugs, I should be made aware of. Okay, Doc. I can manage, I think. 
So yeah, we'll probably take this call, guys, and then that'll wrap it up because I have other things to take care of. And this guy is DUI, 0 0.88. And I'm sure Christian has other things to take care of as well. Negative on both THC and amphetamines. Okay, sir, bear with me one moment. I'll be right back with you, okay? All right, let's see if we have any witnesses over here. Hey, ma'am, Sergeant Beaver, Brighton Police Department. You mind telling me what happened here? That person was driving left and right all over the road. Okay, ma'am, have you got any ID on you at all? I'd like to see your ID, please. Here you go, officer. Thank you, ma'am. Beatrice Peng, that is her. That is her, and that's all good. Ma'am, you're free to leave. You have a great day. Take care. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Hey, sir. Sergeant Beaver, Brighton Police Department. Do you mind telling me what happened here? This person was going way too fast. Okay. Sir, do you have any ID on you at all? Please show me your ID. Sure, officer. Here you go. Thank you, sir. Jesse Musimi, that is expired. That's it. Sir, I'm going to give you a verbal warning for the expired ID, okay? Please get it renewed. I'm not going to give you a ticket. Let's just leave you with a verbal warning. What a relief. Thanks, officer. You're welcome, sir. You have a great day now. Take care. It's fine. Have a nice day. Okay, to speak to this female. Ma'am, Sergeant Beaver, Brighton Police Department. You mind telling me what happened here? The way that person was driving looked down. Yeah, so basically everyone's saying the same thing. They're blaming him. Ma'am, have you got any ID on you at all? Show me your ID, please. Sure. Here you go, officer. Thank you, ma'am. Much appreciated. Uh, Wen Barnes. That is her. That's all good. Ma'am, you're free to leave. You have a great day now. Take care. You can leave now. Have a great day. Okay, That's hopefully this officer. is the last witness. Hey ma'am, Sergeant Beaver, Brighton Police Department, you mind telling me what happened here? That person was driving very fast. It's dangerous. And this... Yeah, the, everyone's blaming him. Ma'am, have you got any ID on you at all? Would you show me your ID, please? Okay, yeah, officer. Not... There you go. Here, yeah, vibrant pink. It's a pretty cool hairstyle. Guess it must be in fashion right now. Uh, Delphine Holmes. That is expired. Ma'am, gonna be a verbal warning for expired ID, okay? Please get it renewed. I'll let you go with a verbal warning this time. Thank you, officer. You're welcome, ma'am. You have a great day. Take care. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Okay. And that vehicle there has an expired plate. No! Please! Stop! Okay, we will just go and speak to this man. I can't get his wallet back to you. Please! Somebody stop him! Sir, unfortunately I can't get your wallet back to you right now. It's not possible to return your stolen property right now. Here's your report. I didn't expect much from you. You're welcome, sir. You're free to leave. You have a great day now. Take care. You can leave now. Have, have a great day. Available. Negative dispatch from 10-6. I'm taking care of another issue at the moment. Right, back to our accident scene. Okay, where are we? Let's take some photos and then we will be out of here. Got some lot of death. Yeah, this one's definitely going to be towed, and he's going in anyway for DUI. Sir, here's your accident report. Here's your accident report. That will be very helpful. Thank you, officer. You're welcome, sir. And at this time, you're going to be placed under arrest for driving under influence of alcohol. Okay, please turn around and place your hands behind your back for me. You've committed a DUI. You're being arrested. Please cooperate. No, don't! Please, officer! Okay, sir, if you've got anything that's gonna poke me, hurt me, stick me, or otherwise. One nineteen, can I get a PT down to my car in 20 for 1015? I need backup to take a subject into custody. Understood. The closest available unit will be dispatched to your location. Thank you, dispatch. 
And 119, could I get a tow truck down to my current 20 for an impounded vehicle? I've got a vehicle here for towing. Can you send a tow truck to my current location? Okay, well that's going to be us for that call, and also for the episode. So yeah, we're going to head back to the precinct. I do hope you enjoyed this one, of course. Another first person Friday episode. And I'm going to be a naughty beaver and I'm going to go against traffic. Come on, out the way, people. Hey, enjoy it. Yeah, it was fun and different for me. It's nice to have uh, some company out on shift, out on patrol. I mean, apart from the episodes that I do with uh, Officer Paraglock, I don't really get that much company. Oh. My life, I need to park this up a bit better. There we are, like a glove, perfectly positioned, ready for the next officers to take it out. So yeah, I'd call that a pretty successful shift. And as always, thank you to Christian for coming along. It's nice to have you on the channel every now and again, buddy. Yeah, you're welcome. It's not a problem. Your shift is okay. over, officer. That's okay. Anywho, guys. And uh, that's going to be it for this episode, so it's going to be a goodbye from me, and a goodbye from Christian. Bye. And until next time, take care.